My name's Dave and I work for KS Engineering in Exeter. We're currently the gas service and maintenance contractors for Exeter City Council and today I'd like to make a short video to show you how to reset the Valent Ecotec Mark 1 and explain some of the controls. This is the Valent Ecotec Mark 1, um, the boiler that Exeter City Council has been fitting for the last couple of years. As you can see the boiler is in normal operation at the moment and firing for central heating. You can tell that the boiler is in normal operation because the green light is on which shows you have power going to the boiler and the orange light is on which shows that there's a flame present inside the boiler. I'll simulate a fog quickly by turning off the gas supply and as you can see the orange light has gone off nearly immediately um, which shows that the flame has now gone out. The boiler will try to reignite itself a couple of times which is the faint ticking you can hear in the background. I'll just run through some of the other controls while, that's, while we wait for that to lock out. Um, in the top left hand corner you've got these two dials. Uh, the top one with a picture of a tap next to it allows you to control the temperature of the hot water coming out of your taps. As you turn the dial the digital display will show you the temperature that it will be set to, the maximum being 65. This is a comfort setting so you can turn it up or down to wherever you feel comfortable. The same with the dial underneath, this one controls the temperature of the radiators if you touch them with your hands. If you turn the dial up and down, you'll see the temperature displayed again, and the maximum being 75. Wherever possible, you should leave this dial in the fully, in the maximum position, because this will allow the radiators to heat up to their maximum, which will heat your house up much quicker. Um, in the bottom right-hand corner, you have a pressure gauge. Uh, this shows you the amount of water that's in the radiator system itself. The little black needle should always be in the grey section um, if it goes too low the boiler will stop working and if it goes too high then the boiler will eject some of the water from the system through the safe discharge pipe. Next to that you've got the main on off switch for the boiler um, with the numbers 1 and 0 next to it. 1 shows that the boiler is on and 0 shows that the boiler is off. As you can see the boiler has now gone to lockout. Uh, the boiler in this state is completely safe so the boiler will not try to fire for hot water or central heating um, and it's waiting for somebody to come along and reset it before it will start working again. In the digital display you'll see an F code. Um, the F code will always be a letter F followed by two numbers. If you need to call us out at any time um, it's very helpful if you can take note of that number and quote it to us when you're on the phone. You can now see as well that underneath the display the orange light has gone out and the red light has come on. This red light is indicating that there's a fault with the appliance and that it needs to be reset in order for it to start working again. The way to reset the boiler um, is to just press this top left hand button, the one with a picture of a flame with a cross going through it. The, there are two common faults on the Ecotec Pro, F28 and F29. Um, these are both saying that the boiler has run out of gas, one is saying that it's run out of gas before it tried to fire up and the other is saying it's run out of gas while it was firing up which is the F29 code which is displayed now. If F28 or F29 is displayed on your boiler we recommend that you go and check your gas meter, um, make sure that you've got credit on your gas, if you don't then you'll need to go down to the shop and buy some and recredit your gas meter before you come and reset the boiler the only, other, the only other thing that could be wrong is occasionally the new gas meters lock themselves off, in which case on the meter itself in the bottom right hand corner, off will be displayed in quite big black letters. Uh, you even need to hold the red A button in on your gas meter until you hear a click and then the meter should say on. Failing that you'll need to ring your gas supplier or Transco and they'll send somebody out to repair the meter for you. Going back to the boiler then, um, in order to reset it, like I said, it's very simple. All you need to do is press the button which is directly underneath the red light, the one with the flame with the cross through it. As soon as you press the button, the red light will go out, the boiler will go to a neutral state um, and it will start to go through the process of firing up. Uh, this will again take about 30 seconds to a minute while the boiler checks everything inside itself. Um, if at this stage the red light comes back on, uh, then you'll need to call Exeter City Council on 01392 265031. But as you can see, because I've turned the gas back on, the orange light has now come on, which shows that the board is working properly again. We hope you find this helpful. Thank you very much.
Take care.